Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're going to build a feed page for our application. So a feed page is basically a page where we show the ideas from the people we are following, right? So right now we don't, we only have a homepage and we are seeing all the ideas. So there is really no purpose to following someone because we, there is no way of actually getting their ideas on our feed. So let's go ahead and build that. Now, as always, we're going to start off by first creating a route for it. So I'm going to open up our routes and I think we can just copy our dashboard route. So let's go ahead at the bottom and I'm going to name it feed. You can name yours, whatever you like. I'm also going to give it a name of feed as well. Now this feed is only for people that are logged in, right? So because we need to get the, the people they are following. So I'm going to give it the middleware auth. Now we do need a controller for this. We could technically uh, add the feed on a dashboard controller. That's one possible option. Now in this case, I want to show you guys with a new concept known as uh, invocable controllers, which are basically an, a special type of controller that only perform a single action. So in Laravel, these are called invocable controllers. If you guys want to read more about them, that's basically the term. And in order to create an invocable controller, basically you do PHP art send make controller. So same as before, you can give it a controller name. So I'm going to say feed controller, and then you can do dash dash invocable and this will go ahead and create an invocable controller for you. So let me hit enter. And this will create a controller. And basically, this is what it looks like, right? So it's a simple controller that performs one action. And it has a dash dash invoke here, right? So it makes it a bit easier to name. So you don't need to come up with you know, unique names or use index or store. And that's it, right? It just performs one task. So these are the controllers you use when you only want to perform one action for a single route, right? So in this case, our feed, we don't really have any other functionality like let me think do we need to do anything else i think that's all right so we only have a single page so we can use this invocable controller now you don't have to use it but because this is something that's used in the laravel community quite often i, I think it's good for you guys to at least be, be be aware of it so when you see it in someone else's code or on some open source project you don't get confused as or oh, what is this special you know underline underline invoke right so now once we have created the controller in order to actually connect it to our route all you have to do is just say uh, the controller name, okay? Feed controller class, that's it. So unlike a resourceful controller where we had to define the method here as well, uh, with invocable controller, we don't need to define it. Laravel just automatically figures out, oh, this is an invocable controller, automatically goes and executes this dash underline underline invoke, okay? So super simple stuff. Now we have a route, we have our controller. Now for the controller logic, I'm gonna for now copy it from the dashboard controller. Later on, maybe we can change this up but I'm just going to go ahead and copy it for now. And then let's put it over here. Now for the view, uh, I was just thinking about this before making the video. I think I'm going to keep it exactly identical to the dashboard page. Now you can customize this maybe on the feed page. You want a different sidebar, something like that. For now, I'm going to keep it exactly identical. So I'm going to reuse the dashboard view file. You can make me make your own feed uh, view as well if you want. Now let's go ahead and import this. So let's see if it's working or not. I'm going to go to the feed page. And it seems to be working. So let's also add it to the sidebar. So let's open up the sidebar, left sidebar. And again, guys, it's inside our shared folder. So uh, I'm going to copy the terms. I'm going to put it under home. So let's name it feed. The route name is feed. And then again, this one should be feed. And I think that's all we have to do. Let's do a quick reload. And now it is working. Now let's log out and also check if it works when we logged out. So when we logged out, it should redirect us to the login page. And it is. So that's that's good. That's good to see. So it is working. Very nice. So now that we have this, we need to actually implement the functionality, right? Now there are many ways you can get, you can perform this, basically get all the ideas from the people you follow. I think the easiest way uh, we can do it is we first get the IDs of all the people we follow, and then we do a simple uh, in search or where in search on our ideas table. So let me show you guys how it is. And again, you can optimize this maybe slightly a bit more, but I think this is the easiest way to understand conceptually. So let's take a look at an example. So let me open up the feed controller. First, we're going to get the user that's currently logged in. So we're going to say uh, auth user. So this should give us the user. Then we're going to get the IDs for all the people we are following. So I'm going to say uh, followings, following IDs. And it's going to be basically our user. We're going to get the following relationship. Now, in order to figure out what the relationship name is, we can check our user model. 
and yeah, it's, I have it already open. It's basically followings, right? So these are the people we are following. So I think I typed it correctly, yes. And then now there are a few ways you can maybe do like a simple select and only select the user ID and then get all of those. But uh, Laravel has a helper function, a convenient method you can call pluck. And this will go ahead and get basically a specific column you want, right? So in this case, what we want is user ID, right? This user ID is basically the ID of the user we are following, right? So I'm going to go ahead and say pluck this guy. And this should give us all the, the IDs of all the people we're following. Now let's go ahead and DD it so we can kind of check it out and see if it's working or not. So right now I'm logged in on Coding Flick and I follow one people, one person. So let's go to our feed page. And oh, this one is our followers. I think I'm following two people. I'm following user number one and user number two. What we can check, let's go to feed page. And if you look here, we have two items, right? So I'm following user number ID one and user ID number three. And if you guys remember the last few episodes, I believe I am indeed following them. We can actually do a check. Let's go to, this is obviously my own profile. Let's go to user number one. I am indeed following him. And then let's go user number three. I'm also following user number three, which is his name, user number two. So yeah, it seems to be working. Now that we have these IDs in a convenient array format, we can just go and do a simple search on our ideas table, right? So here we are already doing it. And I don't know if I showed you guys already or not, but if you're only doing ordered by created ad descending, there's actually a shorthand version. You can just say uh, latest. I might have showed this on my other videos, but let's make this a bit shorter. And then here, what we can do is we can say where in, this is a way to kind of uh, search a column against an array of items or a collection. So here we can say where user ID, which is basically the, the user that posted it is from the list of following IDs, okay? That's all we have to do basically, right? So we do a simple where in search and this is very easy to understand and read. So nothing complex. So let's go ahead and save this up. And again, we could technically, you know, uh, get rid of this user and do it like this, why not? So let's get rid of that. And let's go and test it out guys, see if it's working or not. I'm gonna do a quick reload. And it seems to be working. So right now I'm only getting uh, ideas from this user test, right? this brown emoji. And yeah, right. So I'm not seeing my own posts and I think user number one doesn't have any posts. So let's see, this is user number one. So let's look at user number three. Yeah, user number three doesn't have any posts. So we're not seeing anything. Let's unfollow this guy, go back to the feed page. And now we don't see any ideas, right? So it seems to be working now. Uh, we could maybe change this, I guess, no results found to like no results found or no ideas found from your uh, following list. I'm not sure, but I think it's okay for now. It seems to be working. Good. Very nice, guys. Now, one more thing I want to show you guys before we end this episode because uh, the video is quite short. I want to show you guys how to actually update these dates. I'm not a big fan of how they look right now. It's like kind of too long. I don't think anyone really cares about this. So one thing we can do is we can use uh, some helper functions to actually format this a little bit better. So let's go ahead and find our post idea card, if I'm not mistaken. This is our idea card. So let me close all the other stuff. And I also close idea card, nice. So where are we showing the date? Uh, I want to find it. Where is the date? It's over here. So now Laudable under the hood uses a simple package called carbon or I think carbon, I'm not sure. And it's basically a date package. It helps you manage dates and it comes with a bunch of nice looking, you know, helper methods on it. So one of them is called a uh, to date string. So if you run this and automatically, by the way, a lot of will uh, cast your created ad as a carbon object. So we don't need to worry about it. But basically what this does is it will give you a date string. So let's go ahead and do a reload. And as you can see, we kind of lose, we lost the, the time, right? Now you can also do a date time string and will bring back the time right so not that useful now one more thing you can do is you can say diff for uh, humans and this will go ahead and give us kind of a syntax like this 22 minutes ago i like this a little bit more i think it looked pretty nice one month ago and it's quite short so i'm going to stick with that so we're going to use uh one month ago now i will try to later on make a video separately on uh, laurel carbon and cover all the useful methods it has but i think this is basically uh, what we need for now. So diff for humans. Now, we are probably using it for comments as well. Let's go and check that out. 
Do we show the comments somewhere? None of these have comments. Oh yeah. So for the comment, also I'm gonna go ahead and change the date because it's too big. So let's go ahead and find our uh, comments box. Does not exist. I might have moved it. Let's see. Comments box. So where is the date? Where is it? Oh, it's over here. So here again, we can go ahead and say uh, diff for uh, humans. Let's do a reload and one month ago. So it looks nice as well. I hope I haven't missed anywhere else. Let's look at this page. Obviously it uses the same template on the profile page. Are we showing any dates? Nope. So I think we have updated all the places that we are actually uh, using this. Good. Now, one more thing I want to change as well, guys, is uh, I think comments box is related to ideas. And again, because we don't have a comments folder, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to move this comments box inside the ideas folder. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to move it over to ideas. And then from ideas, I'm going to move it to shared because it's only used by the pages inside the ideas. We're not using anywhere anywhere else. It's actually used by, I think, idea card, if I'm not mistaken, right? So it is kind of not used anywhere else. Now we do need to change where we are importing it. So it should be ideas.shared.comments box. And while I was looking, I think we also can move the follow box, right? Because it's related to following a user. Why not? So let's go ahead and also do this as well. Now I don't know if it's really okay. No, this one is the follow box on the right. So uh, yeah, I think it's okay. Let's keep it where it is. And yeah, that's it for today's video, guys. So we covered how to create a simple feed page. Now you can uh, kind of uh, add your own pages, maybe show the post with the most number of likes. Maybe if you like, uh, you can play around with this and improve it a little bit more. But I think for now it's good. And then we also covered how to actually play around with this a little bit more and use either a to date string or date time string or use a diff for humans. And I personally prefer diff for humans. And let's try to like this. Very good. So that's it guys for today's episode. If you have any questions, you can ask me in the comment section below. As always, don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe if you still haven't. And I see you guys on the next episode. Have a great day. Bye.